That's it. You know what I'm saying? Put them in. Just grabbing, um, doing colors by that set. So, what I want to do is, I want to get the darkest skin color probably first. It should be about like right there. You know what I'm saying? You can just click on stuff and things should come out. So. Look over here for example, we'll just start moving some of these browns and colors over there. Yeah, no, I'm trying to go from darkest to lightest. Clicking and moving, you know what I'm saying? And then the bitch. Alright. That's about all I can control, so I probably need, I probably need the lightest one, so. Need more there. That's the lightest one. Alright. So that should be the skin tones right here. I'm gonna try and blend it better later, but let me get this um, shirt next. The dark color and shirt and then that. So I'm next, I'm going to move the next. Try to get the second dark color. This is going to be about one of the dark purple. You don't have to get every one, but you want to get stuff that's close, like somewhere. over and just get the, the closest ones you can. You're not going to get all of them, but just try and get what you can. Basically, I'm just moving the colors over here that I can get. And hold on. All right, here go the palette that I came out with. You know what I'm saying? I kind of extracted from these colors over here. Um, it's an original image, and that's what I came up with. I tried to separate everything. You know what I'm saying? Shirt, skin. You know what I'm saying? Shoot the pants. You know what I'm saying? So, let me try to forget it.
this should be good. We're gonna find out though. We gonna find out. Okay, now that I got the pallets uh, made, I'm gonna find where his character file is. Yeah, I'm gonna save them in pallets. Channel 1. I'm gonna save over that old one. And then we'll go to an insert pallet. We're gonna apply the pallet to those sprites I did. You see all the sprites? Gonna do all of these. So, get all of them. There's all the character sprites. Chin. Use, use the same name as the images. And apply the pallet. So, uh, Make a new folder and I'll we'll call it pal. Just so I'm not uh, apply it right. And just put whatever in it don't matter, they're gonna name it the same shit. And hit save. Watch how that goes. Okay, now that you apply the palette to those sprites, you can just go open up a sprite from that folder and you always say the pal. Check it out to see what it looks like and make sure it's applied right. And you can look through the colors and just make if it ain't applied right if you need to add some more color you all can just um open up the original images and just move more colors over here and then you just click the apply button again and save it over the old one or the ones you just did in case you're missing some shit and just keep doing it just don't save over the original you know what i'm saying save over the, the copy that's why i'm in the folder but it looks pretty cool from here what i'm looking at everything looks pretty in place Alright, so I got that palette saved, I got the new sprite saved, there we go. So we're going to open up uh, Fighter Factory Classic, and we can just go to sprites, and um, you can just open up the palette, hold on, I'm open up the palette that I just made. to make sure is a shin palette shin one and that's the palette that I made right here you know okay so I can just start adding sprites first one I'm gonna add is uh, 9000 which is a um, character custom portrait but before I do that let me um let me see where to um cause I had remember when I ripped them, they did an axis for them. And here go the axis, so the original images. But I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to double this. You know, because I doubled the size of the sprite, so you want to double the axis. So, you know, you just got to do this shit like this, and just double each each um, axis. Um, that'd be like 232. And that would be 332, right? Yeah. Alright. Alright. So, let's, um, Start adding the group. I'm gonna do. Um, I don't know why I closed that. Am I stupid? There we go. <laughs> Alright, let's keep that open. I close the folder though. And I want to go to the ones that are PAL. And I want to add 9000 and 0. I'll just replace that with this one. Since it's got the palette, everything's cool already. We don't have to worry about it, but I just want to make sure the axis is right. So what I'm going to do is have the axis 232, 322. Wait, that's not right. Yeah, the axis should appear right, so let me uh, figure this out. Hold on, I'll be right back. Alright, I'll put the first images. I was like, why this shit ain't aligned right? Because 
I didn't resize the 9,000 and zero image. Remember, motherfucker. All right. Now that I got that, how it should be. So I just put that as the 9,000 zero as the original image. I'm gonna start just adding the other images, other sprites. Hit the add button. You wanna um, go to the pal. Everything is numbered as it should be. So C0 through 0 and 17. That's how they should appear in the thing. So they're just one one step. Remember the axis was um, 232, 322. That's the axis. Remember that the axis was. Make sure you share the palette. The rest of them. And there we go. You see that? And added the sprites. The new high res sprites or filter sprites or whatever the fuck you want to call it. Wow, bitch. You see that? And they already aligned. So you don't have to worry about the line. Man. So you can just do the next group. I'm gonna add. I got group zero in there. So what's the next one is in order? Just five by itself. Just add five. Share palette. You don't have to change the add because it's gonna have the same axis as the rest of them. Wow. That's five zero. Go to the next one. Add again. Go to six zero. You know what I'm saying? If it's more than in that in that group, the first number, then just add the rest of them, but it's only so that one backs up, that one backs up. So I'm just gonna share a palette, and there we go, six. That's the crouching sprite. Alright, go to add the next group. I just wanna get y'all on this shit. You know what I'm saying? Twenty. To the end of twenty. Twenty zero to twenty seven. Twenty in there. Share a palette. This got the number of each sprite, so you know what I'm saying? If it's say 10, you're supposed to put 10 on it, or whatever it says on, on the end number, that's how you're supposed to do it. You can add by 1s, or you can add by 10s. So just click on that. That's mainly for the get hit stuff with 10s, and you see it more like that, but we ain't gonna worry about that right now. I'm just gonna add, share palette, 20, group 20. Wow, that was walking sprites. A line. See that? You ain't gotta worry about that. So let's get this done and then we can do more. Alright now that I got a few sprites in there. I ain't got all of them in there, but I got a good couple of groups in there. I wanna save this so uh, I don't lose my work in case something crash or you never know. You know uh, sprites and save as I'm gonna save it as an SFF. I'm gonna put in my character folder that I'm working on. And I'm gonna overwrite the original um, SFF called Kara, Kara, stands for character, there you go right there, I'm just going to put the same thing in here, Kara, and I'm just going to ask me if I want to overwrite, and yes I do, and said we use for a character, and it probably be all images, yep, I'm just probably going to do that one, and there we go. You know, and I can just keep going back to adding them. I stop at 140. So, 140 is the last one, so 170 is the next group. 170. Share a pellet. See that? Everything is aligned. Cool, man. Cool shit, huh, dude? Yeah. Alright. Alright. Now I got most, I got mainly all the text sprites in there. Now I'm going to get start on the get hits, so adding them in there. Let me show you how to do that. I'm going to add, you know, starting at 5,000. So 5,000, that's going to be the first one. I'm going to add, and I'm just going to 5,000. You don't want it to add every 10. Share palette. So it's 5,000, 5,010, 5,010. Alright. And you want to usually do the get hits like that if they label it like that. So the second number in the sprite is a 10 or a 20, you want to do it like that. And add a 10. Every 10 to each of those image. Okay, now I got all the uh, character sprites in here. You know what I'm saying? 
everything's aligned and then we 